everybody. Welcome to another live fishing event. So it's a beautiful, beautiful summer day and I'm fishing for a catfish and carp. And I've got my little wingman here, Nathan. And uh, we're gonna see what we can catch. I've got everything rigged up, I'm anchored, I'm ready to go. It's time to throw out some lines and see what's going on. As a little bit of a, a little bit of background here. Um, in this area where I'm fishing, I, I fish for carp a lot in the spring and the fall, and I hit them in the shallows, I hit them in the reed beds, really good. And then right after the spawn, from um, early summer until beginning of fall, they disappear out of the shallows, and I don't know where they go. So I'm trying to find them. My theory is that they're in medium deep to deep water. So I'm anchored up in about eight feet of water on a shelf where I can have access, where I can cast down to 15 and 17 feet of water. I got a few hits on the sonar. Could be a catfish, could be a carp, I don't know. So I'm throwing out a little bit of shad, a little bit of uh, pack bait with some corn and soy meal. We're gonna find out what happens. And I'm gonna try to answer some of your questions too. So let's see, oh, a whole bunch of people uh, saying hi. Hey Harry, welcome to Virginia. Uh, where's Tommy? Tommy is getting a bath and being put to bed. Uh, uh, he, he wasn't being a team player earlier today, so Nathan's here and he's not. Is my wife recording? No, my wife is moderating. She's back at the house uh, watching Tommy. Hey, uh, hey everybody. Well, it's good to see you guys. Well, I'm gonna get my rods out and then I'm gonna start answering some questions, so stay tuned. And by the way, Nathan's already thrown one bungee cord over and I think he just threw something else overboard. So we'll see what happens. What do we got here? Oh, Nathan. Yeah, that's, that's Daddy's rig. Don't, don't chuck that over. Okay. We're gonna get the catfish rods out here. I'm gonna hit shallow near a bunch of structure, eight feet and 17 feet. So I'm gonna spread the difference and see what's hitting, okay? So this one's going 17 feet. Now, if you don't have a fish finder, getting used to sensing how long it takes your lead to hit the ground is a good way to get gauge depth. It's not precise, but it'll give you a good guesstimation. All right, Nathan. Watch out, buddy. All right, I'm over here. Okay, let's see what we can get. All right, I've got my method leads for my carp, the fake corn, the soy meal and cream corn pack bait. Same old stuff you've been seeing me use all, all, uh, all year. I bought a 50 pound bag of soy meal end of last year, so it's kind of my go-to bait till I get rid of all of it. Alrighty, so got a big thing of soy meal here. Squish up a ball of it. It's got cream corn and soy meal. That's all it is. Didn't add any jello this time because I didn't have any. Didn't add any soda because I didn't have any. I'm just doing cream corn and soy meal. And I'm smashing my hook right in the top and uh, got a little leftover gummy bear on my hair rig from my last video. For those of you who, who didn't see it, me and Tommy and Nathan went fishing for catfish with a five pound gummy worm and a bunch of gummy bears to see if we could catch uh, catch it. Don't reel that in yet, Nathan. Don't you reel that in yet. Kid's gonna be a bass fisherman. He loves reeling. Just re he loves reeling more than he loves catching fish. He's gonna be a bass fisherman. Let's see. All right, Nathan. Let's pop this sucker. Right there. Hey, Nathan, you want to come and say hi to everyone? Hey, look at look at everyone on the on the on the camera. Wave and say hello. Bye. Hello. Bye. Oh yeah. Hello. Ah. Uh. 
just a man and his boy fishing without rod limits. This is what, this is the way it should be. I think we've got eight rods going here. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like eight rods. Hey, don't reel it in, Nathan. Don't reel it in, buddy. We'll be saying that all night. I just put that hook in my finger. That was fun. Oh. Now these method leads, man, I, I say this over and over again, but if you want to fish for carp for catfish and you're in a state that doesn't allow chumming, use a pack bait like this, okay? Some states, not all of them, but some states that ban chumming define chumming as putting bait in the water that's not attached to your hook. Well, that, sir, is attached to my hook. So it's a great way to chum and use chumming techniques legally in states that may not allow it. Nathan, are you reeling that in again? Don't reel it in, buddy. Don't reel it in. Do you want a snack? Okay, why don't you come over here and sit down and I'll give you a snack, bud. Or bribe him. Oh, all right, one more rod. And then we're rigged up. So got spreading the gambit here. You know, having lots of rods like this helps you catch fish, but usually not in the way people think, you know? The key is it helps you find the fish faster. And what'll happen is I'll throw out seven, eight rods like this, and usually only two or three rods get any action the whole night. And, and once you get it dialed in, you don't need seven seven rods or eight rods. But it just helps you figure out where they're at. And today I have no clue where the carp are at. And I think I, I, there's gonna be some channel cats in this spot. But uh, I am really just searching for, for uh, carp today. So spreading, the, spreading it out at different depths is uh, carpet bombing help me figure it out now if you, you can't do seven rods for whatever reason just make sure you don't stay put you throw bait in front of a, a fish they'll usually hit it pretty quick I mean it's the they're hungry and they want food so if you just work in one or two rods throw them out in the spot if you don't get a hit in like 15 minutes recast put it somewhere else and kind of systematically work your location once you've done that if you haven't caught anything move spots and once you've caught something, if you don't get any more bites after about 15, 20 minutes, get out of there. You've caught them. You've scared them out of there. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh, you got daddy's glasses. Oh, hold on, buddy. Okay, let's see. How about this? Let's put daddy's glasses back where you found them. All right, let's answer some questions. Whew. Oh, somebody asked about if I've got Gamagatsu 10 knots. No, I don't think Gamagatsu makes a 10 knot circle hook. Uh, Mustad does, uh, owner does, but Gamagatsu doesn't make a circle hook the 10 knot. They have, uh, hey, inside, buddy, inside. They have 10 knot hooks, but not circles, I don't believe. Um, and if I do, I just haven't been able to find them online. Um, somebody asked me to dab. You know, the first time I ever heard what a dab was, was on a live feed. Somebody asked me to dab. I'm a criminal defense attorney, and dab is a, is a street term for uh, uh, wax or THC that's been 
reduce down. So I thought somebody was making a drug reference. I'm like, what the dab? What the? I actually think the original song, it is a, it is a drug reference, but at any rate, whatever. Um, what bait do you use for catfish? Fresh cut bait fish or live bait fish. One of the two. You see what Nathan's doing over there? Hey buddy, come on. Hold on, hold on, let me help you, let me help you. I'm gonna help you, you're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna let you cast. Come here, come here buddy, okay? Yeah, come here. We're gonna hook you up. This boy wants to get his hands on a reel. And I'm not gonna scream at him all night telling him to stop that. So, plan B is I'm gonna put this bobber the hook, I'm going to sink it into the styrofoam so he can't hook himself. He just got a little bobber on the end. We're going to let him cast that up and get it into a big old rat's, rat's nest. All right, buddy. There you go. You can play with that. See how long. that. that I, I give him three minutes. Tommy, he, uh, he's at home. I think he's getting put down to bed. The boys went swimming at a lake and got all tuckered out and Tommy wasn't in the mood to come. Okay, will you come to Michigan? I would love to come to Michigan. I'd go catch some big old walleye and and uh, go go uh, ice fishing. I love to ice fish and I don't get to do it here. Keep that door shut, buddy. Keep that door shut. I'm gonna see, let you guys see what Nathan's up to here. Oh, come to Texas. Well, my good fishing buddy, uh, Jeff Gonzalez, who's infamous from the 30-foot bamboo uh, rod fishing video, he's moving down to Texas, so uh, maybe I'll have, to, I'll have to go down and visit him and uh, go get some big smallmouth buffalo or something. I'd uh, come to Seattle. I've been to Seattle. It's like Alaska, but south. <laughs> What's my personal best for carp? Man, I've caught a bunch of fish right around 30 pounds and nothing much bigger. Or, uh, I haven't caught any really huge carp, just a bunch of decent ones. Come to Florida? I've been to Florida many times. I got a land-based shark fishing video from Florida. Uh, I did a bass fishing from Florida in January. I uh, did a catch and cook saltwater catfish video from Florida. Me and Tommy are probably gonna go down there and uh, hit some grass carp. Hey, uh, Nathan, inside, buddy. Inside. Come on. Using alarms? Nope. Nope. Tommy threw all my bells overboard. I need to sit down and make some, but I don't have time. Uh, use thread fin. We don't have thread fin in this area. We use gizzard shad. They work great though, but uh, thread fin work really good where you have them. Kid has the death wish. Yeah, he's a kid. They all have death wishes. That's pretty much parenting is when, until they turn about five or six, your job is just keeping them alive. It's not, it's not rocket science. It's just, <laughs> uh, Smith Mountain Lake. I've got some video surface fishing for carp down Smith Mountain Lake. Collab with Black Tip H. I tried to do that down in Florida, but it just didn't work out. Schedules didn't mesh. Uh, what is the strangest case I've ever handled? Man, I've handled some weird ones. I wish I could tell you half the crap I've seen. Um, <laughs> uh, where can I get this shirt? So my shirt, I've got a whole bunch of t-shirts that we make and sell. I just don't, I just don't hawk them much and push it, but if you go, uh, thank you, Matthew Smith. Appreciate it. Nathan, inside, buddy. If you want to buy a catfish and carp shirt or a hoodie or any of our gear, you go to our Facebook page and on the top of the channel art, there's a button that says shop now. That'll take you to a spread shirt account uh, for us where you can buy all of our gear. Tell us about some of your cases. Well, you know, that's the funny thing is attorneys People don't want their attorneys to talk about their cases. <laughs> so, snitches get stitches. Yeah, at any rate. Um, his rod is gone. It probably is, actually. Yep. Nathan, what happened to your rod? It went in, it went in there? Dang it. It's the first rod I've ever lost with Nathan. 
Though sometimes I look at them, I go, it cost me nine bucks for that combo. And I'm like, I would pay nine bucks to keep it entertained for five minutes. <laughs> uh, oh, some, some shout out from the UK. Listen, I hope you've seen our UK fishing video. Our family went to the UK and fished in the Cotswolds at Cherry Lakes and went to Bushleys and Lechlade and uh, had some great fishing. You know what? I am going to back this up a little bit so you can see my rod tips a little better. I'm going to stand back. Um, yeah, we love the UK, man. Had a great time. I've been there three times now. Hope we can go back again soon. Fabulous place to fish. Caught a nice 28 pound mirror the first day I was there. Um, where do you find method leads? BigCarpTackle.com is a good place in the US. HarrisSportsMail.com is a UK site that ships to the US pretty cheaply. Is it cold? No, it's like 90 degrees and I'm like sweating like a pig. Um, the floor is lava. I'm lava. Um, so what's your favorite carp pack bait? Probably Ponko, Sweet Corn, and Jello. I've got a video about it. If you uh, look up carp baits, I have a video titled My Eight Favorite Carp Bait Recipes, and there's some really great pack baits in there. Uh, yeah, I can't believe we haven't got a hit by now. This is, is going to be interesting. Uh, shout out to Hawaii. Aloha. Um, oh, man. I okay, you guys from Hawaii. What... What do they call uh, Grand Trevally or GT in Hawaii? There's a Hawaiian name for it, and I can't remember for the life of me. I came this close to going to Kauai to fish for a GT from the shore. Uh, uh, what is what do they call it in Hawaii? What is the Hawaiian word for uh, Grand uh, 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 GTs? At any rate. Uh, PB catfish, 69-pound uh, blue catfish, 53-pound flathead, and 23-pound channel catfish. Alua! Ah, that's right. I pronounced it wrong, I'm sure, but yeah, that's right. Alua. Um, yeah, I, there's a guy in Kauai that, that guides uh, surf fishing for Alua in Hawaii. Oh, I want to do it so bad. Love to go catch GT. It's 102 in Phoenix. <laughs> it's like a cold spell down there. Uh, biggest shark was 200, 250. We didn't put it on a scale because it's pretty big, but it's big sand tiger shark. Where did I go on my mission? Fukuoka, Japan. Uh, hey, how do you donate? Um, I think there's a super chat button and uh, you go and hit, hit it and it'll ask you to link it to an account. You can do it. Okay, guys, you got to keep an eye on my rods. I'm busy looking at you guys. Where do I live? Wherever there's fish. That's where I live. Uh, yes. Fish today, all day today, and got skunked. Happens to the best of us. Uh, come to Colorado. My sister just moved to Colorado. I might do that. Um, I think the first bass I ever caught was in Steamboat Springs, uh, Colorado. And uh, I'm from Dallas, a lot of shout outs. Where am I getting my soy? Um, I get it at Southern States, which is a feed store around here. Um, so just go check out a feed, feed stores. That's the best place to get it. Tom. Hey Nathan, you wanna come over and say hi? Yeah, come here, buddy. <laughs> yeah, look at me. Hi, you got a bite? Oh, did I? Which rod? Or are you guys screwing with me? I'm on the boat. boat. Yeah. I'm on the boat, boat. You're on the boat. I'm on the boat. boat. Yeah. I'm on the boat. Well, I'm on the boat, boat. Never fished in Alabama. Never fished in Alabama. Would love to go down there. Smith Mountain Lake. Um, might be going there sometime. Snorkeling in Hawaii. Oh yeah, I went first time I ever went spear fishing was in Hawaii. Um, great, great time. Uh, let's see anything. Oh, it's quiet. Have you ever fished in Minnesota? I've never been to Minnesota. I'd love to love to do it. Come to Utah, please. My first catfish ever was caught in Utah. I caught a bullhead 
ice fishing in, on Utah Lake. That was the first first uh, catfish. Because we don't have catfish in Alaska, and I'm from Alaska, born and raised. So, uh, and they don't have carp either. My first carp was caught on a fly in a botany pond, a decorative ornamental pond on BYU campus. I'm not sure it was legal, but it was fun. Uh, do you ocean fish? Yes, I do. Yeah. Do I ever take subscribers fishing? All the time. I actually do it a lot, but I always feel weird saying, hey, look, here's a subscriber I'm taking fi fishing. If I take someone fishing, they're my friend. I just say, hey, he's my buddy. So there's a lot of guys um, that I've met through uh, through the YouTube channel and through the fishing events, and we've gone fishing together and uh, become really good friends. And uh, so like uh, Jeff Gonzalez, who I, met, uh, I mentioned, shout out to Jeff if you're watching, it's probably working. Um, but yeah, great friend, and uh, met him at a fishing yes. event, been fishing with him dozens of times. Um, there's lots of other guys too. Ever noodled for catfish? Not yet. I have dived underwater and wrestled a catfish out from under a log. That was because he was snagged, so it doesn't count. Uh, we don't have pay lakes in Virginia, so oh, uh, I haven't done it. I might go down to North Carolina and give it a try, just, just to say I did, if nothing else. You are just having too much fun. Where is Tommy? Haha, <laughs> he's, he's at home. How old is Nathan? Nathan, how old are you? You're two years old. Can you, can you show everyone too? Nope, you cannot. What type of lawyer am I? A freaking awesome lawyer. That's what type of lawyer am I, I am. I practice criminal defense. If you ever get arrested in Virginia, I'm your man. So. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I didn't get subtitles on my video I posted today, this morning, uh, is because uh, I was uh, teaching a group of about 100 lawyers uh, about defending DUI cases and stuff. So I, I specialize in DUIs, reckless drivings, uh, but I do all Dad! sorts of stuff. Ah! But, uh, are, am I expensive? No, we're not too bad. We're not cheap, but we're not, we're not outrageous. We try not to screw people over. Um, uh, what are we fishing for right now? Catfish and carp. Who won the reel? Forget the gentleman's name, but I announced it at the end of the gummy bear video. Um, I always, on my videos, I always tell you when I'm going to announce it. So, uh, shout out to Brazil. Any good fishing spots in Prince William County? Um, I'm sure there are. Newport News, what's up? I got some videos from down that way. Uh, yeah, man, this is so quiet. I can't believe it. Yeah, love to go catch some uh, peacock bass. Shout out from New York. You know, I went fishing for carp in Central Park uh, once, and it was rough, man. It drove me freaking batty. I saw these carp, big old, huge, beautiful koi, and some others right in front of me literally watching them feed i'm throwing chum at them everything i got and they're literally just going around my bait <laughs> you know they were so street smart man they were they were just they were new yorkers man they were complete new yorkers they did weren't bothered or perturbed by anything he just rolled with it didn't give a crap about me <laughs> uh wait well, hey, chris Flores! Hola, mi amigo. Como esta usted? Oh, let's see. Any fish? Any bites? Well, come on. This is quiet. Oh, Nathan's having a ball. Lawyers are crooked. Well, aren't you a poo poo pants? Um. <laughs> uh, you know what's really funny? is the people who like hate the, who think the judge lawyers are crooked often are the ones who try to go into court without a lawyer <laughs> and uh, you know so 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 put how does this make any sense if you think lawyers are crooked that means the judge is crooked because he's a lawyer the prosecutor's crooked he's a lawyer okay and you think you're going to go in there by yourself unrepresented and get a fair deal 
<laughs> if you really believe lawyers are crooked, the last thing in the world you should do is go into a room full of lawyers and let them have their way with you without someone there to defend you. Anyway, I digress. Hey Blake, my boat is sinking. Well, this is going to make some awesome YouTube videos then. Um, are you a lawyer? Yes. Um, have you ever, for, for, ooh, I didn't even know. Oh, uh, a lot of shout out. I hate fish. That's all right. Jesus loves you too. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh, you want to, you want to drink? You want a Powerade? Mm -hmm. All right, buddy. Come on. This is miserable. Look at this. There ain't nothing going on. Holy mackerel. Here you go, buddy. Yeah, we need to get out of here, but I don't have a lot of time. Uh, it sunsets at 8.30, and this little guy's bedtime's around 8, so looking at the horizon, you do the math. It's I don't have a ton of more time to fish, so I might just ride it out, even though I just told you don't do that. I'm going to probably recast my bait, move it around a little bit, but I think I'm kind of made my bed and now i got to sleep in it because uh, um, somebody asked if I eat the catfish. I have an entire video playlist on my channel dedicated to catch and cook videos. I've got some great catch and cook videos for catfish, trout, salmon, um, Asian carp, a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah, maybe we got a nibble up there. Here, buddy. Uh, ever fished with an RC boat? Yes, I have. I did it in England with a special uh, bait boat designed for fishing. And uh, I did a couple videos about that. So check out my fishing in, uh, in uh, England video. Oh, oh, ever caught a gar? Yes, yes, I have caught a gar. I actually caught a gar fishing for Asian carp with Steve Douglas out in Kentucky and uh, caught a really nice size spotted gar. Thing weighed about eight pounds fishing for big blue catfish. Didn't bite my line. He swam into my line and got his teeth tangled up into it. The guy was snarled mess a good 20 feet above my hook in my line. It was the weirdest thing. Um, where is Tommy? Oh crap, I knew I forgot something. <laughs> Uh, get some bells for my rod. You know, I made like 20 or 30 of them, did an entire video about it, and Tommy threw them overboard one at a time, two at a time, until they were all gone. So, uh, Tommy singing. Well, this is Nathan, so Tommy might be singing like a, like a swan out back at home. Do you like snakes? Never eaten one. Um, bite, bite, bite. Oh! I know you're probably just kidding, but I look anyways. Yeah. All right. Ever come to come into Louisiana? I hope so. Kind of want to go to Louisiana and go frog gigging on an airboat, just because. Um, I should recast. You're right. I should. Let's do it. Um. All right, Nathan. You drink your Powerade there, okay? Actually, you know what? I'm going to wait till this boat passes. Anytime a boat goes by, I notice that you often get an uptick in bites. I think what it is is you'll grind up shad in your prop. So I think when a boat comes by, it's a little bit like a dinner bell, you know, manna from heaven. And the catfish get a little bit excited. So uh, we'll see. Hey, is that Colby? Is that you guys? Hey, hey, Colby, uh, you're, I'm live streaming you. So those of you who watched uh, my ugly stick Abby. video, that's Colby, the go-kart uh, driver. Abby. Hey. Do you have a puppy? Yeah. How are you guys doing? You no, I'm, I'm sucking it up. It's terrible. But I got to recast here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Nathan says hi to your doggy. So let's see what we can figure out here. You guys been recently? No. 
Well, it's been slow. I think the spawn started. Yeah. All right, we'll see if we can pull one out. Good luck. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Yeah. All right. I'm going to belt this close to shore. I'm going to try to get this. Oh, that was a gorgeous cast. I wish you could have seen that. Uh, let's turn that off and that off. Okay, I'm blasting this one up here. I'm gonna switch this method feeder with some catfish bait. blast this method feeder into about five feet of water I'm gonna go pretty shallow got some sunken structure I'm gonna pitch it at and kind of see a log sticking out so I'm gonna to try to get close to it but not get hung up we'll see what happens all right that'll work time so you see the lights going on and off that's Nathan ha Nathan having a ball uh, any good fishing jokes no but I've got a good joke that was told to me by an eight-year-old the eight-year-old kid walks up to me and goes you know why I wear diapers he goes two reasons number one and number two <laughs> I, I, I thought that was pretty funny, actually, for an eight-year-old. And he delivered it pretty well, too, you know? What's my favorite fish? I really love... I really love catching bluefish from the ocean with a gotcha plug. Um, that is really fun. I love uh, catching salmon and trout. But I love of carp fishing and catfishing, too. Ever fished Lake Champlain? No, but I got food poisoning there once. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Come, come, come to Georgia. Yeah, I might, might get a chance. Go, go to Okefenokee or something. Catch more grass carp. I think that, that could apply. That's good advice for everyone. Let's see. Come to Delaware. That's on the to-do list, actually. Got some friends that live up to Delaware. They keep telling us we need to visit, so. Uh, ever been to Texas? Just the airport. But uh, went uh, fishing in Costa Rica um, for freshwater tarpon down in the Canyon Negro and, and laid over in Dallas. That's the closest I've ever been to Texas. Um, come to New Jersey? I'd like that. Here's a great stripers. Um, what size boat do I have? It's 7 feet by 13 feet. It's a small mini pontoon. Thing weighs about 1,400 pounds, the trailer and everything, so that's why I can tow it with my little Kia, uh, Kia Sportage. Uh, can you eat sushi? Of course, it's delicious. Tons of people eat sushi. I also eat uh, sashimi. I've, I've 
I've eaten some crazy stuff. I lived in Japan for two years, so I ate raw horse meat, I've eaten brains, shark fetish, raw eggs, um, a lot of intestines, you know, sea cucumber intestines, cow intestines, all sorts of stuff. Um, bow fishing, you know, hey, thanks up, man. Thanks for the $2. Uh, um, I, I, you know, I like, the idea of bow fishing appeals to me. The problem is, is I don't need that much meat and I, I don't feel good about killing fish and not eating them. And so if I'm going to go shoot a fish, I'm, I'm going to eat it. And but the thing about it is like you shoot one carp and that's, that's more than enough food for me. I've got a two year old and a four year old who don't eat anything. Tell me, Nathan, look at this. Look at what my boy's doing. He's sitting there with a pair of scissors trying to, trying to cut my line and my reel. That's, uh, that's fishing with children for you, sweet kid. Hey, Thomas, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, shout out to Thomas there for, uh, for supporting the channel. I appreciate that. Come to Idaho. Um, I've, I have, uh, I have been to Idaho many times. Uh, somebody said go hunting. I used to do a lot of hunting up in Alaska when I was a teenager. I used to do a lot of duck hunting and uh, bird hunting and, and various things, but I already have a hobby that takes up way too much time and money. So uh, kind of one thing at a time. Plus it's really hard. Um, there's certain things that are harder to do with small kids, like having little boys on the boat fishing like this is, is relatively easy, but I love to fly fish. I've been fly fishing for years. I don't go fly fishing very often because it's really hard to do with little kids, you know? So hunting's kind of the same sort of thing. It's a little too much, too much of a circus for, a, for where I am in my life right now. Um, do you ever fish gravel pits? Only if there's fish in them. Uh, have you ever been to Afghanistan? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Though the food is amazing. And, uh, oh man, sautéed pumpkin. Dude, I love the Afghani sautéed pumpkin and uh, the Kabili Palau. Freaking awesome food. Can I do sushi for bait? Yeah, that's not particularly hard. Carp love rice and it's fish. Raw fish. I mean, so that's that's like... That's more like eating bait rather than using your food for bait. Okay, got a little disconnected there. Hey, hey, thanks for the, thanks for the donation, guys. Um, do some shark fishing. Yeah, I'm going to. They definitely want to do some shark fishing. Uh, never been to Iowa. Haven't been to the Ozarks. Bite on your left. Oh, I wish that were true. Okay. A million people keep telling me I have bites and I'm I think they're just pulling my leg, but I'm looking anyways, you know Also Nathan's messing with my rod so that'll do it Come on man, it's the middle of this the spawn just started for the catfish So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be ticky, tricky uh, Goliath grouper fishing. Yeah, that's coming. That's coming. Keep be patient uh, I want to check out my channel butternut squash uh, Nathan just cut my line probably probably did would not be surprised All right, buddy, that's enough of that Hey, welcome back. Yeah, I got a little lag there. Doing this with my cell phone, so, you know, things happen. Anywho, uh, yeah, let's see. I'm getting a little nervous here. Things are not looking great. What's the matter, buddy? You pinch your fingers? Yeah, well, that's, yeah, you, you put your fingers in the pliers and you squeeze. That's, that's what happens, bud. All right, man, let's, what is going on here? We need a bite. Ooh, what's going on right here?
Come on, come on. Yeah. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> Alrighty. If you have any night fishing videos, I've got a bunch of them. I did like a whole bunch in a row last year around this time. Uh, if you look up night fishing for catfish, you'll see a bunch of my videos. Including uh, one where me and Tommy camped out overnight and bank fished all night. Do you like Johnny Cash? Who doesn't? Um, ever fished in Kentucky Lake? Uh, went fished in Barclay. I'm about six foot four. Or, uh, make more night fishing videos? Oh, I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. Especially once the spawn kind of gets over. Ah, okay, you're wiggling so much. Let's see, you want down? All right, there you go, buddy. Oh. So guys, what kind of videos do you want to see? What's some, what's some type of videos you want to see? I'll tell you what, I'll give you a little sneak peek. Uh, I got a video coming up here. Hopefully next week I'll get to do it. Where I'm gonna try to, I've made, I'm making a lure out of a fidget spinner. I'm gonna see if I can't catch a fish using my fidget spinner lure. So stay tuned for that, that's coming up. More bank fishing. I'll do it. Honestly, I like doing bank fishing a lot. It's just so much easier to have the kids contained in the boat when I'm fishing. But uh, I'm gonna do some more, uh, some more uh, bank fishing visit. Catch and cook catfish. I've already done a couple of those. Some camping. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. Are the carp spawning? Now the carp spawn just ended. Um, we had a really short spawn. It got all messed up this year because we had tons of rain and water levels affect the carp spawn. So the carp spawn was a little protracted. It was kind of weird. Or uh, um, it, uh, temperatures right now, water temperatures like in the upper 70s. Real maintenance video? I don't have a real. I don't do real maintenance, man. I just do them until they burn out. Um, are you in Utah? Husband versus wife. Listen, that's a single man's comment. Whenever you have husband versus wife, wife always wins. Okay. <laughs> the, the sooner you get that out of you, you get that straight in your mind. The sooner you're gonna you're gonna avoid a lot of grief in life. Uh, I should meet up with uh, Dal Midi. I I don't know how you pronounce his name, but I know who you're talking about. I'd love to do that. Um, I do a fair amount of like used to do a lot of metal detecting and uh, rock hounding, fossil hunting and stuff like that. So diving in rivers and going and, and uh, finding stuff sounds awesome to me. Uh, fish with the Lake Fork guy? Well, he's in Texas. That's gonna be, if he ever wants to come out to Virginia, he's welcome, welcome to fish with me. What you got going on down there, buddy? Man, it's nothing is going on here. We need to, uh, uh, water temps, upper 70s. Yeah, I want to meet up with Mike from One Rod, One Reel again. I definitely want to do that. Me and Leo are going to get together uh, here soon. Uh, Leo from Extreme Philly uh, fishing. That's going to happen. Uh, ever fish Lake Anna? Yeah, I got a couple videos from fishing Lake Anna. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. What's up, Luke? Chicken butt. That's what's up. There you go. Kicking it old school. Fish with Perrick. Uh, um, he's welcome anytime. Come out to Virginia. Why don't you hunt? Because <laughs> I don't have any spare time whatsoever. I'm. <laughs> um, do do do. All right, guys. I need to move this rods around a little bit. This is ridiculous.
Now we got to get some action here. <laughs> you, you wearing my glasses again? Now listen, you've thrown my rod overboard. You threw my bungee cord overboard. I don't think I can trust you with my prescription sunglasses. Sorry, buddy. You are what we refer to as a repeat offender. You got some, you got, oh, you got a knife there. Put down the knife. Hold on, buddy. You see the knife. Yeah. Nathan likes playing with knives. Nope, shut the door, buddy. Keep the door shut. All right. Fish with Jeremy Wade. Well, he's welcome to anytime he wants to. Uh, Muma. I've I have not fished Muma before, but I might be doing that next weekend. Um, do some more foraging videos. Yeah, Nathan, shut the door, bud. Shut that door. You get your fingers? Oh, sorry about that, buddy. Fish with muddy, uh, mudder, muddy water cat fishing. Uh, he's it's like Chris Flores, but with a little bit more blues background. Yeah, I would love to fish with Chris Flores, man. That he's he's the guy, man. I've I've got to hang out with Chris Flores a couple times at the Catfish Conference. Great guy. Good YouTube channel. Check out his uh, channel, Muddy River Catfishing, if you haven't. Thanks, Bill. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, come to Pakistan. I've seen some beautiful pictures of Pakistan. Man. It looks a lot like central Alaska. Um, at any rate, favorite NASCAR driver? Me, of course. Yeah. Um, fish with chat cats. I'm hoping to get them out here. Yeah, I think that's going to happen. Uh... Holy crap, I have a lot of viewers. I am wasted, I have wasted a lot of people's time. Hey, thank you, Redneck. Thanks for the, thanks for the donation, I appreciate it. Um, uh, come to Mississippi, I would love to. Will you ever co uh, consider quit being a lawyer? Well, I'm not gonna do it my whole life. I'm gonna quit eventually. But uh, I tell you, feeding your family off of uh, YouTube videos and other stuff, that's fickle business. You know, <laughs> plus I, uh, I got, there's more than, more than one person that feeds their family working at my firm. So, um, that's not something I'm going to shut down anytime soon. Nathan, nobody. No. Here, come here. Ah, yes. Oh, yeah. So let's see. Favorite rod you have. I really like the Cabela's Mag Touch rods. I love them. I love them to death. I wish they made them in more sizes. I own like four or five of them. They're great. Are, am I married? Heck yeah. yeah. Married to the most wonderful woman in the world. Love you, baby. My wife's moderating right now, so. Um, how is my little boy? He's two years old. My other uh, boy, Tommy's at home and he's four. Um, biggest bass? I caught a pretty good sized bass uh, a couple months ago. I think it was around seven pounds, but I'm not really a bass fisherman, so I don't, uh, I don't take it out. 
Oh, wow. your your tongue is so blue. Uh, hello from Portugal. How long do catfish spawn? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you when you're older. I don't know. Um, how old is my wife? Um, oh, she's been in her 20s for several good 15 years now. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, will you return to England? I think we will. What color is the sky? Now we're starting to ask some interesting questions. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Nathan, 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 what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> do I ever take my wife fishing? Yes, yes I do. And some of my favorite videos are fishing with Becca. Uh, nobody watches them because uh, they aren't about fishing, they're just about my wife and me, and so they're like the most sentimental videos that I love, but uh, I really haven't watched them. Come to South Africa. I would love to come to South Africa and catch sharp tooth and voodoo catfish. All right, Nathan, you are getting crazy. Let's see. All right. Noodle for catfish one of these days. Um, how many lines out? I got like seven lines out or eight lines out. It's what you, uh, hey, thank you for uh, Nuke Duke. Thank you for the for the donation. Uh, do you want a daughter? Oh, I'll discuss that with my wife. Um, how exactly how many pounds of catfish do I have in my freezer? Zero. Um, I I don't I don't frozen fish tastes nothing like fresh fish. When you fish as much as I do, there's no point in freezing fish. Just keep a little small guy, eat it. If I want more fish, I'll go out and catch more fish. I can catch them all year round. Maybe not tonight, but all year round. <laughs> so, uh, so I don't freeze up the catfish. I'll just go out and get another one. It tastes much better that way. That's why people tell you don't catch really big catfish. If you catch a huge catfish, you eat like a little bit of it fresh and the rest goes in the freezer and then it's like, ugh, it's old. you're eating old fish. Uh, um, if you just keep a little guy, eat them all up, Tastes fabulous. Then you want another one? You eat another fresh fish. No, no leftovers. Your biggest fish, please. Uh, about a 200 to 250 pounds uh, sand bar shark or sand shark. How long uh, do, 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 do. have you ever gone walleye or musky fishing? Done a lot of uh, pike fishing. Um, uh, up in Alaska, pike are considered a trash fish, and uh, my brother-in-law convinced us to go fishing for some. Uh, I had a day once where I caught 83 northern pike in one day. So uh, some pretty good pike fishing up in Alaska. Uh, uh, favorite TV show? Um, you know, actually, okay, if you're from the UK, there was Her a comedian named Harry Hill who had a TV show in the UK called TV Burp that I just think is freaking hilarious. Okay, it is the weirdest, weirdest show you've ever seen. And it just cracks me up. And it went off the air uh, two years ago. Two, uh, well, more than that. It's probably been three, four years ago it's been off the air. It had like 15 seasons. Fabulous show. Go look up Harry Hill TV Burp. It's hilarious. And then you'll know how weird I am. Uh, has Nathan ever caught uh, to fish? Yes, I think he's, are you eating my bait again? You are eating my bait. Okay. Oh, Nathan. Oh, all right. Look at the look at the camera. Look at this. Oh, Nathan. Nathan's favorite bait is soy meal bait. You do you want some snacks? We got some real food on the boat. You don't have to eat the bait. I feed you. I swear. Here, buddy, you want you want a peanut butter jelly sandwich? No. You want an orange? No. You want some goldfish? Maybe. Okay. You want? Yeah. 
Whew. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good thing I don't use stink bait. He'd be sitting there with like some secret seven or, you know, just ah, eating it. All right, buddy, there's some goldfish crackers. Go ahead and eat those, buddy. Every time he eats my pack bait. That's why I only use the freshest ingredients when fishing for carp. Uh, uh, my pack bait I'm using tonight is soy meal and creamed corn. 12 pound line, I got 20 pound spider wire, wire stealth. Have you ever caught trout? <coughs> I grew up fly fishing in Alaska almost uh, until I was my 20s. Caught more trout I can count. <laughs> well, I like catfish and I like carp, but which one is better? There's only one way to find out. Fight! <laughs> oh, my British friends get that. I should do a fishing tournament. If I do a fishing tournament, then you guys are going to realize how much I stink at fishing. I like it better when I get to edit. Hey, Nuke Duke, thank you again. I appreciate that. Come fish in Iceland. I'll listen to Bjork the entire time. It'll be awesome. Um, I, I think there's a button uh, underneath the, near the chat bar where you type in where you can uh, do super chat. It's, it says super chat, I think is what it says. Wow, Nathan, you've got a lot of graham crackers out here. Have you ever hooked a duck? Yeah. I've hooked comrades, ducks, geese. Legal to fish after dark? It is here. How you guys doing? What's up, Luke? Well, same old, same old, guys. Woo Slower than snot, though. Oh, no. oh, ho, thanks for the, the $2. Say, say hi to the internet for me. Inner tube famous. Inner tube famous. <laughs> that's 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 exactly what we call it. That's correct. That's. Hey, and, and, and you'll have to edit this from the octopus. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, no problem. No problem. I'm I'm sure we'll edit it out. It's a live feed, so never mind. <laughs> that's not gonna work. Right? Yeah, it's it's already <laughs> gone. <laughs> Inner, inner too famous, man. Do you know how redneck that sounds right now? I'm gonna be inner. I'm gonna be inner too famous. Get my good teeth. Oh, dude. And how is your son doing tonight? He's been eating my bait, so I had to give him some uh, graham crackers to keep him from. What flavor bait are you using today? Luckily, it's like soy meal and cream corn, so it's like no shad guts and rotten stuff. You know. It's, yeah. Otherwise, that would be a little child abuse. Yeah, yeah, well, well, you know, that's a strong word. We throw that around a little too loosely that day. Man, this is this is so stinking quiet. I've been here almost an hour and I shouldn't have sat here that long. But it is what it is. Alright guys. Tell Tommy I say hi. We'll do. Man, we just had something jump right behind me. Can you see my dogs? Have you ever flipped my boat? No, it's a pontoon boat. You know what I'd have to do to flip a pontoon boat? It'd be amazing. How do you... PB Bash is about seven pounds. It's about the size of a small catfish. Have I caught a fish yet? Uh, Yeah, tons of them. Do you ever clonk? Never clonk. I know it works for wells, but I've never, I've never seen it in the, I've never seen anyone use it in the states. All right, guys. Well, it's getting close to Nathan's bedtime. I think I'm. Oh, you want me to open up your goldfish? Ever swamp my boat solo? No. But I'll tell you what, if you guys ever kayak or canoe fish, you know, and you're out by yourself, before you do that, you should go out, get go to a safe spot with some friends, 
and practice swamping your boat and getting back in. It is a real trick. And there's some techniques to doing it. But, you know, if the first time you try it is in a real situation by yourself, it, it's, it's nasty. So, you know, if you're going to be out kayaking or canoeing, and, uh, practice it. All right. Hey, I see someone used my uh, hot dog recipe. Yeah, Joey says hi. Goodbye, Intertube Joey. Bye. <laughs> Bye. They say goodbye, Intertube Joey. Watch this, nine point nine, baby. Yo, oh, keep keep it keep it down. Oh, hold on, you got me snagged oh. up. Yep. Yep. Oh, there it is. Ah, yeah, cut cut yeah. the engine real quick and I'll break it off. It's in your prop. Hopefully it's not too gummed up. You can just still get back. Holy crap. Hold on. Alright. Alright guys. I'm gonna try to break just break it off for you, okay? All right, cool. Oh, that's good spider wire. Go, Daddy! Go, Daddy. <laughs> good times. Oh, you're so famous. You better turn the camera around. This could be, this could be uh, YouTube famous right here. Jeez. Classic. Oh, I can feel it. Yeah, you got something. Thank you. <laughs> well, no problem, man. Sharon Martin, Allendale Court. All righty. It adds excitement to your fishing tonight. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I, that's my new PB for pontoon boats. It's the best one, I, best pontoon boat I've ever caught. Well, anyway, any rate, guys, I think this is an omen that it's time to get Nathan to bed. Um, so a couple things. I just finished uh, doing an affordable catfish rod review video that I'll hopefully get up and posted sometime uh, this upcoming week. Going to be doing some great rod, give, uh, rod and reel giveaways because uh, once I get done reviewing the, the rods, then I can give them away. Um, if you want to get uh, to, uh, in on that action, body in the contest, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you click the little bell button next to the subscribe button so you get notified when I post the videos because I explain the contest in the video. So, at any rate, heads up with that. 
you want to get any catfish and carp gear, uh, go to our Facebook page and on the header, click the shop button and uh, that'll take you to the catfish and carp gear. And at uh, any rate, thanks for uh, tuning in to our live feed, even though uh, <laughs> kind of uh, devoid of action, but that's fishing for you. Even I get skunk, man. Happens all the time. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day.